in this tutorial, we're going to be drawing the camera that you can see on the screen there, and it's a combination of ellipses drawn um, in isometric, um, but also creating techniques. So it's a good way just to round off everything that we've been learning. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw that uh, front corner, and then we're going to draw the receding line uh, that direction and the receding line that direction there. And key thing is that we do need to make sure that that is approximately 30 degrees, and it is. Now usually um, I shy away from using rulers and I advise people not to use rulers, but with this one because there are, if you look at the, the, the lens, those lines are quite long. And if we get those uh, wrong, as in they're not parallel, it's not going to look right. So um, I understand some of you might not have rulers at home, so I'm going to show you how you can make a ruler out of a piece of paper. So here we have A4 paper, we're going to fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. It is important that we make sure the corners do line up, otherwise it's not going to work. And we're going to fold corner to corner again. And one last time. Okay. So, we should end up with a homemade ruler. And what we're going to do with this is only in this direction here, I'm going to put one edge on there, and we are going to extend this out. I'm going to extend that out as well, and put the edge in one line. It's quite important that when you created this, that those creases were tight. creating our own isometric paper. Okay, so that gives us something to start with. I'm just going to extend that line so it's there. And I'm just going to move the image over. So this is the, the four edge, the edge closest to us. And we are just going to draw the back edge there. And again, I'm going to rotate my paper around. I'm just going to use that as a guide. So make sure that these two are parallel. Okay, so I think that about here it goes straight back and then it goes down an angle. And it's probably about there. So again, it's the dot to dot technique. And using that line as a guide, we're going to go back and we are going to use that line as a guide. So these lines are parallel. We use this line as a guide. Move that so you can see. And it's going to go back. So you can see those lines are parallel, and that line is going back as well. <clears throat> so we're creating that. We've got a nice little grid system going on to make uh, things easier for ourselves here. Okay, now that possibly it's a little bit out actually. I think but we're going to draw a line parallel to here. Use that as a guide. Okay, so that's that front section done. And then we are going to so draw in that line there, even though we don't see it. Um, I think, yeah. So if we look at that, the back of that lens, that ellipse just touches there. So we need the same height there, so that will come down. So we need to find out where that back, back edge is so that we can draw that ellipse accurately. So we would need to go from there to there. We need that length here. So you want to even use your pencil as a, a guide. Yeah, it's absolutely all right. And it goes there. So a little bit smaller. There. Okay, and then we find the center of that. Now we're ready to draw our ellipse in here. Okay, so then we've got the, the, the back. Of the ellipse. Now, the reason why we've got these lines here is then what we can do with the square that we drew in isometric at the back, we can then make sure that the edge of our ruler is parallel to this. We can just extend that out, and we need to do the same here and here. Now, committing carbon sin here is covering up the paper with the ruler, so I'm not actually sure that I can see what I'm doing. Extend that corner back, extend this corner back. Okay, so now we need to extend this 
back to about here. So I think it probably goes back maybe to here. And then use that line. Okay, I'm sitting in a round table. <laughs> and then we're going to use that line as a guide to the back. Okay, so now we have our square, find our center again. And then we can draw lips in there like that. Okay, so now we can join the front and the back of the lips together. Making sure that that edge is parallel underneath. And the same on the other side. So this is a clear indication of whether or not our lips is correct. Right, so now we can go over that lips again to the Okay. Right, so now, see I've made mine a little bit too chunky, I think, but it doesn't matter. The key thing is drawing the cylinder here and drawing the, the crane for the rest of the camera. And um, it just, so that extends to about there. Yep, and so that extends. Here. Oops. Now you see how that line is in parallel to that. That's where you need to stop. And you need to make sure that it is parallel. So you can go over these lines now. Press down a little bit heavier. Make sure that's in short. Now if you wanted, you can make that narrower to your design. I'm just going to put the edge in there. Here. Um, so this is going to be a soft edge. Okay. And I've made this slope down a lot more than it does in the example. But again, as I say, it's okay we're just practicing concepts here. And here we've got that button. And we need to, I think, I'm just going to get like that. Yeah. yeah. That. Okay. So then what we have is we have that grip where I'm going to use that back line as my guide. So I'm going to feel that goes around like that. And let's see if I can pull this off and kind of cheating this. So I'm going to draw a guide that is where there you go, that's okay. So then my dining room table here. Okay, then what we can do as well, so we need to erase those lines and make them just put some shading in. Yeah, like that. Put that here. It's going to have the highlight there, it's going to start getting darker as we go around the other side there. And the same. So we need to make sure we that the same. And then the last thing for us to do, really, is to put in that lens there. So Put the, the lips back there, you can see it overlapping back here. Now it comes around like that. And we put those little highlights in there, the light is reflecting off the, the lens. Okay, all right, and then we can just put in some, some other shading here. I'm doing a diagonal as you can see on that surface there. And then we'll do, yeah, Texture into there like that, and that's going to be dark around there. It's a very, very quick sketch of, uh, of that camera, um, and like that, the techniques is all there. So, the next stage is for you after you've done this is to find an everyday object in your home and to draw that out and to scan it and add that to your Google slide uh, in Google Classroom. So it could be something like a speaker, it could be a food blender, a food processor, um, anything that has both 
cylindrical in straight lines and curved lines like that so you can practice your, your drawing techniques. Okay.